Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick update for you. Um, I know that I did a video yesterday, but what I'm going to talk about today is uh, four other either blogs, account on Goodreads, or YouTube videos that I um, love their reviews, or I always, I normally always agree with everything that they say about books. So I'm going to put the link to them below, and then I'm also going to have two books that I'm not going to do a review over, but I'm going to just show you what they look like, kind of tell you about them a little bit, and um, then we'll get to that section. And then after that, I'm going to talk about um, a charity that I really think that you guys can easily get involved in. It's a stylish way to get involved. So if you like clothes, listen up. All right, here we go. Okay, so my first um, person that I normally agree with her on most of the books she reviews, I think the only disagreements we have is The Hunger Games. Um, I love reading 65, and I'll put a link to her YouTube channel below. Um, she's also a friend of mine on Goodreads. Her reviews are usually very thorough, um, very easy to understand. She's not quiet. You can understand, like, the words that she says. And her name is Martha, and she's great. So I think that everybody should go and subscribe to her now if you aren't already. Um, my next one, and I'm hoping that I'm saying this correctly, is um, Aberrant Books. And she has a YouTube channel. I'm also going to put the link down below. And if I said it wrong, please tell me. Um, I think that you will agree. We usually, actually, it's kind of weird. I've been finding that she'll read a book, and then unknowingly I'll order the book. and do a review over it like the next week after it like she just did a book haul with bumped and I just 20 minutes before that had um ordered bumped from Barnes and Noble so definitely go check her out we're usually talking about the same books that I think you'll really like her um my next one is actually a blog and her um blog is violet hour br both of you dot com and um, she has tons and tons and tons of books on there. Her website is very, very, very professional. I talk, to, She'll talk to anybody on Twitter. I talk to her on Twitter all the time. Um, she's also my friend on Goodreads, so I'm going to also write that down below. Her name is Lindsay, and she's very, very sweet. Um, my next one is actually a person I have on Goodreads who I believe added me because of my channel. Um, so if you have a Goodreads, I think you need to go follow her because – she is, or not follow her, but be friends with her, or whatever. Because her, she has so many books, and her reviews are always really good, and she just loves reading. Like, she, you can tell she's very excited about reading, and she'll talk to you about any book that you have a question about, or any book that you're just kind of like, ooh, I don't really know if I should read this or not. And she'll tell you, you know, straight up if she liked it or not. So um, I definitely think that you guys should all go follow her. All right, so this portion I'm actually going to call so you like Twilight. Um, these books are nothing like Twilight. I call it that because they're about vampires, and I couldn't really think of a more snippy way to talk about it. So um, the first book that I'm going to show you guys is Thirst by Christopher Pike. It's um, actually, if I remember right, two of the books in one because these books were actually published a really long time ago, and then now that vampires are, you know, famous again, it was republished. Very good. Very, very different. The girl is the vampire, and she knows how to use her skills, and she uses them. And um, I definitely recommend this book if you liked Twilight. Um, and even if you didn't like Twilight, um, this book is nothing like Twilight. It's just, I think that you will like it if you like vampires. So Thirst by Christopher Pike, because it's the very first one. This is the new edition. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty thick book, but like I said, it's really two books in one, so. And then the next one is my personal love that I'm kind of surprised I never do a um, review over any of them. I think they're too sacred to me, and I don't want other people to bash on them and disagree with me. So I have right here Vampire Academy. You can kind of see how old mine is. The pages are kind of turning yellow. But <laughs> this is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I have the entire series. I can read the entire series multiple, multiple times in um, a summer. So I definitely think that everybody should go and pick this up. Um, like at Walmart, this was years ago when it was still pretty new, and I got it for seven fifty seven. And I was just, just talking to one of my friends yesterday, and she said she got it at Borders for 2 bucks for the paperback. So come on. I mean, you know you can go buy it. 
two dollars. It's cheaper than a gallon of gas. Um, I think that her writing is great. Rose again, the main character, is very, very um unbella like. She's very set in her ways. She's a loud mouth. Um, she gets what she wants and she goes after it. And she's actually not a vampire. She's a half vampire, which if you read it, you'll kind of figure out what that's all about. Um, and so, yeah, so that's my little, if you like Twilight, go pick up those books section. Um, I will also put a link below for you guys to, um, the lowest marketplace price that I found it. So you guys can get it for super, super cheap. If you don't want to go out and buy it, you can get it online. Um, my next thing is my charity quick that I... Hope you guys aren't annoyed that I'm doing this, but as you can probably see on my shirt, let me back a little bit, um, Fuck Hate is a organization that raises awareness for, um, gay rights and just gay marriage, all that, all that stuff that I think is absolutely ridiculous that it's not legal. Um, they raise money for awareness for that and try and educate people about what's going on currently in the news about it and I have a code that I will also put below a lot of things below so make sure you make sure you look this time um for I believe it's 10% off of your purchase all the money goes to charity so it's not like you know I mean they're they're kind of giving you a deal by saying hey you don't really have to donate the full amount um they have different shirts they have one like mine says fuck hate um, they have ones that say, um, straight against hate. They have ones that don't be hating on the homos. Um, they have lots of things. They also have sweatshirts and calendars and stickers and just everything. And I'm probably, I'm assuming most of you have probably seen the videos on YouTube. Um, I'll put a link to their channel as well so you can kind of watch those and see what's been going on. But I definitely think that it's something that I feel like I needed to raise awareness about. And, um, so I bought the shirt and I wear it proudly. Fuck hate. All right, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know down below and don't be afraid to message or comment. All right. Bye.